You just stay right there. You're doing perfect right there. Don't do anything right there. Just stay exactly what you're doing. DJ Mommy. This is the part the audience doesn't get to see behind the curtain at Circus Osario. Yeah, this is the first time we're going to give an exclusive actually look to what happened backstage. The performers were kind of very secretive. We don't like anybody seeing what's happening backstage. The performers are Roberto Carlos Osorio has been performing for almost all of his life. It started with his great grandfather, who, believe it or not, ran away with the circus. Come on over, come on over. Uh, Chris, don't forget when you're up there, just make sure to grab your arm, make sure you're safe and everything. Alonso! He ran away and joined the circus. He saw the girl on the trapeze. He fell in love with her. And it's basically like a Hollywood story, but it's a reality, a real story. And he ran away with the girl on the trapeze. He did it for about three times. His father brought him back on the third third time that he brought him back. They put him in the Mexican military for a three-year stint. He finished his uh, Mexican military. He learned how to read. He learned how to write. In those days, we're talking about the late 1800s. It was kind of hard for people to learn that. And then he decided he literally never looked back. He got out. He hunted my great-grandmother down until finally he saw her and fell and married her and then happily, happily ever after. And then history repeated itself. His father met his mother, a showgirl, and they too ran away with the circus. While there were thoughts and even attempts at finding a new and regular life, the circus, it seems, is their destiny. Roberto and his brothers, along with an extended family of performers and crew, are touring Canada for the first time. This is a fun part. The Osorio family is a circus family like no other, going back four generations. Roberto's nieces take care of social media and promotion. They have family photos on their smartphones. A Mexican circus with strong American ties touring with a Chinese acrobatic troupe. Canada. Language becomes an issue. We had a translator, but she had to stay in the States. And now we have a translator, but on the phone. Literally, the way we communicate with them is a, a lady, their agent called Sarah. We call, we have to go to talk to the older gentleman, Mr. Lee. And we have, we go like this, uh, phone, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. And he'll, oh, okay, 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 okay. And he'll die up Sarah, and then Sarah will say, yes, yeah. And then we'll, we call, we call to Sarah, and then Sarah tells them. For today, for this interview, there was most definitely a conversation with Sarah. The youngest Chinese acrobat is 11 years old. Mr. Lee cooks for them and makes sure they are getting what they need. When the tent is up, they are doing two or three shows every day. Roberto says that what most people don't know about the circus is that they've already been here, scoping things out and getting a sense for the town. He and his brothers put thousands of kilometers on a rental car going up and down Vancouver Island last year. My older brother is the one Frank, he just, it's kind of, we kid about him. He has like a weird kind of sense to places. Once he gets to a town, he starts feeling the rhythm. He starts feeling how the town works, how it is, the, if the town can, can it's, it's kind of it's like a sixth sense already, I guess, for him to, to a certain point. And then comes the show itself, giving it your all on the road in a strange town and country. It isn't easy. There's a old saying, if you love the thing you do, you're never gonna work a day in your life. That's basically the circus right there in a nutshell. The circus is, if you love it, if you feel it, if you feel the energy, you're never gonna work. When we see the high wire, we have a joke, uh, my brother said, said, you don't wanna see us in tights anymore, it's not a pretty picture. So I, as far, as long as I look good in the ring and as long as I'm able to give 100%, I'll be in the ring. But in the circus, probably pretty much my whole life. Uh, probably uh, probably my, my dad has a saying, you know, he wants to be in the circus even today, the day he dies, you know, that's pretty much what, pretty much what every performer feels. In Nanaimo for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Kate Bergen.